The Fresno City College Wind Ensemble has been chosen as a showcase spotlight performer for the New York International Music Festival next month. But to get there, they need the help of the community. Joining me now to tell us how you can help is FCC Director of Bands, Brass and Music Theory, Alicia Wells, Wind Ensemble member, Amelia Romero, and Custom Fundraiser Solutions Area Representative, Danny Hinton. Welcome, all of you. How are you? Thank you. Good, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here with us first of all. Okay, we need to start. Tell me about the band. Oh, the Wind Ensemble is a premier uh, instrumental ensemble at Fresno City College okay. and um, we're comprised of music majors and non-music majors and they're just great students. Oh my god, I could just <laughs> imagine. I was looking at some of your guys' videos. You guys are amazing, really. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amelia, tell me, what instrument do you play? I play the flute. I'm the principal flute player okay. at Fresno City College. Uh, I, I love it there. For how know. long have you been playing? Three? Oh, how long have I been playing? Yeah. Oh, since sixth grade. Sixth grade. So it's been a big journey, but I'm wow. so happy to be here where that, I am. That's amazing. Okay, you need to tell me a little bit about your band then. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, there's a fundraiser that's going to happen. Yes. Tell me about that. Well, this Saturday we're having a mattress fundraiser and it's a little bit odd sounding <laughs> at first, but it 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 could be the best thing of your life if you're not getting good sleep. So we're hosting a mattress fundraiser uh, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the college, and it's in the practice gym. And uh, we've paired up with Custom Fundraiser Solutions to help us get these luxury mattresses up to 60 to 70 percent off. And actually, Danny can tell us more about that. Danny, take it <laughs> sure. away. Tell us about what could people expect during the fundraiser. Well, we have uh, we we're lucky in the fact that we get to sell these mattresses for cheaper because we don't have the overhead that these other stores have you know and so we can uh, uh, we don't have the advertising we rely on the parents and the students to get the word out for us um, we don't have a retail space that we typically that these big mattress stores have to pay for and so we can sell these for much cheaper and give the proceeds back to the band and we're you know these band directors all up and down the valley work so hard I, I can't. I was just talking to Alicia, and she was. She went to bed at like 2:30 last night, still working on stuff. She got up at 6:30 in the morning, and that, those type of that's kind of typical behavior for these directors. They work so hard and with very little budgets, and so these are a good way for them to earn some money back. That is true. And Alicia, okay, how many members are part of the band? We have almost 60 people in this band. Okay, so when I first started two years ago, we had 17, and so the progress of the band has exponentially grown. And the artistic director of the New York International Music Festival saw our progress and our potential and invited us to the festival. And it's just been wonderful because he's a mentor of mine and he actually lives in the Central Valley. And so um, it's such a huge honor. Not only are we part of the festival, but we are these showcase performers. At the end of the festival, we get the most amount of performance time on stage. Oh, and so yeah. the trip cost almost $110,000 and we need to raise how much do you guys need? Tell us. The tell last $40,000. Okay, so you guys collected already seventy. dollars Yes, we have had yard sales. It's almost like this ground roots effort. We have, our students have picked up two to three extra jobs. We have, they've cleaned houses. They've made scrunchies. We have sold candles. I mean, the list is on and on, goes on and on, but That's we're amazing. working hard That's and amazing. we don't expect a handout. We want to work really hard, but we need the community support and exactly, help. Exactly, exactly. And Amelia, yeah. why is it important for people to come out and support you guys for this fun, fundraiser? You know, a lot of us do come from low income families, yeah. so it wouldn't be possible without the help of the community to go to this trip that seems almost unreal. You know, a lot of us are stuck in Fresno. I know I've never lived, um, li left Fresno, so just thinking about going to New York is this crazy opportunity. And not only are most of us passionate about performing, but we're also passionate about teaching. So this opportunity to go to New York and learn from like some of the best people in the world and bring that back to the community here and teach our kids, I think that's Oh, so we're amazing. It really is. Now, before we go, we have 10 seconds, Alicia. When is this event happening? Saturday, March 7th from 10 a.m. This weekend. Come get a mattress. We're going to help you find the mattress you need. 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Watch for the signs on to campus. We'll get you there. We want to see you, and we want to get you better sleep. So help us, help you, help us. <laughs> I love it. You guys, thank you so much for being here, and good luck on everyone.